a continent of over a billion people, where more than 70% of the population lives in cities that are fast taking their place on the global stage. Accra in Ghana is one such city that is emerging as an economic hub on the west coast of Africa, teeming with a young population that is growing at 3.8% annually. Once a center for trading and home to giant colonial forts, today Accra is a vibrant, free, democratic metropolis. However, in order for Accra to become a smarter city, it must modernize its systems to grow or else see the city implode due to rising population pressure. How do you provide the basic social services to a city like Accra? You have a population in Accra of about 4 million. Ghana's total population is 24 million uh, and most 50% of Ghana's population lives in cities. So Accra is definitely the largest. How do you ensure that you're able to provide the health services, the education services, sanitation, access to water, but especially access to sanitation? So the whole social dimension. In 2010, IBM measured the effectiveness of Accra's systems to identify how well it has performed against its peers across the world. These findings formed the basis for a second team in 2012 that arrived in the country to find out innovative ways to improve revenue generation, which was a major priority for the Accra Municipal Assembly. This is a, a country that people are not willing paying their tax. So, Collecting revenue from the people is very difficult. We also realize that we, we are not covering a lot of areas of revenue generation. Most properties are left out in the uh, uh, collection of revenue and most businesses are also left out. So uh, we are not generating enough and we are not uh, computerized enough. We are not using enough technology. And these are some of the things that are affecting our gener uh, revenue generation. To keep up with Ghana's impressive economic development, these challenges need to be met. And to do so, Accra urgently needs to become a smarter city. Smarter cities, smarter planets, smarter transportation, smarter energy, and what have you. It all comes with the three eyes that we talk about. Being instrumented, interconnected, and intelligence. So when we have all those interconnection and instrumentation and creating the intelligence, it allows us to really use this intelligent data points to do analytics, to figure out how we make projections, what we are going to do for the next year, the next five years, next 10 years. And all of that is coming into being as Accra embraces technology to uh, drive solutions. One of the most pressing issues in Accra is transportation, where 90% of all transportation is by road. An explosion in the number of cars on its roads means that commuters can face up to three hours in traffic jams, and a lack of cohesive coordination by traffic managers means even more jams. The major problem businesses have today is traffic. Traffic is huge, and it's indeed a big challenge. We are aware of new roads that are being built and uh, to ease traffic. The few ones that have been completed in recent times have helped a great deal. However, it's still not taking away the volume of traffic that we have in this country. So we need a solution to that. Because for businesses, anything that adds to the cost of doing business impacts negatively on your bottom line and makes you less competitive. 70% uh, of the vehicles carry only 30% of the people. And therefore, we need to encourage uh, uh, people to use huge commercial vehicles. In fact, if you look into Africa, you see that transport is not on the strategic role of everything in the, uh, in, the, in the country, especially in Ghana. They just put anybody to manage transport. But we've come to see that, uh, in fact, about 30 to 40 percent of a, a, a company's budget is on transport. And that's why it's good for us to promote the study of transport. With a comprehensive plan underway for smarter transportation, Accra could soon attract a consortium of domestic and foreign investors to help get it off the ground. But transportation isn't the only challenge. Accra's infrastructure is currently outdated and not designed for the city's growing population. Access to stable electricity is already becoming a challenge for the city. 
Currently, demand for power derived from hydroelectric dams has increased dramatically from 53% to 77%, putting greater pressure on a single resource. Uh, one of the main challenges is, is power, and um, as most people are aware, the, the power grid in, in this part of the world is, is not uh, too stable, so we use generators a lot. And we at Airtel, um, in using generator, we, we, um, for, for several reasons, we decided to look at alternate uh, sources of, of energy. So we are trialing um, wind power, solar power, and even for areas within the, within the city, we use a lot of batteries. The demand for energy is also growing. Uh, even though we are not having too many manufacturing companies springing up, population is growing. So demand by residential accommodation for energy is growing as well. And it's about 50-50% between residential and businesses. And meanwhile, the growth in energy supply has not been that high. So there are some challenges relating to this area. And that is where we are having uh, power outages so often. And it's affecting the quality of power supply and therefore affecting the manufacturing sector. While the mayor of Accra believes that Accra's rapid growth presents a unique set of challenges, it also presents new opportunities. In particular, the city's authorities struggle to capture and retain all income from the services they provide. IBM's work will allow them to deploy an integrated revenue collection system and deliver services to the growing population more effectively. On several occasions, we've done work with the universities, we've done work with the electricity company of Ghana, and we've gone into the uh, uh, oil environment, which is Akradi Sectech, to be able to help them develop curriculum to really create an industry around this oil services industry. Smart solutions can significantly boost the revenue available to improve services, not just for Accra, but for Ghana as well. I believe that companies like IBM that have um, the expertise will be able to come in to scale up the effort that the local assemblies are doing. We've talked about today from waste management to revenue collection. IT will be a major enabler to ensure that we can get the best out of it. Cities must become smarter in their own ways, given their level of development, culture, and available resources. In Accra's case, governance will be key to its successful growth. It does not matter the laws that you have. It takes someone to enforce it and make sure that he brings discipline to make sure that the law works. You know, and I think that is a kind of leadership that we need. I think we have governance problem. People to champion cause the cause that we have. I think the future looks bright. We just have to do things right. And hence the African continent. It's where the future is. <laughs> Mm-hmm.